let's get into the dance of the pedals. And I, I want to start with the OCD because I know that's such a big part of your tone. Yeah. How did that become like the, the, the hub of everything else that's going on? That, that pedal's not the one that ever changes. It's not. I can't get away from it because it, it honestly, like the feel of it. Yeah, is, what does it do that you enjoy so much that it's, it's undeniable? Just, it's so touch sensitive for this guitar and that amp for some reason. Um, That pedal, it has to be EQ'd. Like in what way? So underneath the board. Oh, okay. I've got EQ, um, and it's got. There's so much. Like, listen to this shit. <laughs> like, with, without the EQ, I would never be heard. Like my bass players, all the the. the the sonic ground he covers, that you, I would never hear it unless I cranked it to like the heavens. Yeah. And like. And it still wouldn't be very defined. Totally. Yeah. And like, the thing is, I've learned that the, the, the best approach to live stuff is lower stage volume because, you know, if, and, and that's the point of the EQ, so I can keep my amp at a like really reasonable volume. So like it's on two right now and like So that there's so much like blah, you know, it just flubs. So like it has to be EQ'd, but I can't get away from the OCD because of the touch and like it just sounds like a pedal that is very familiar to me. Like it, it as soon as I played it for the first time, I was like, that's the sound and I just can't like get away from it yeah yeah so you got the crutch for it we got the mxr is yeah. a six band eq there yeah and what's let's lead into the next one because i see another eq pedal what's that for that is for my dirt transmitter okay and my king of tone um and the thing about the king of tone is i i love the king of tone but there is a lot of bottom end when you pair it with a 335 and especially when I'm on the neck pickup, which I am a lot, because I love the sustain that you get out of it. Can we can we hear it like an AB, like with, yeah. with it off? So okay. it's off now. So I use the king of tone. I use the clean side because I love it so much. So that's off, but in a band context, and that's like the most important part. Yeah. Like you gotta take the bottom in. Oh yeah. You know, like, the, cause the bottom in is just like, it's in the way. Uh, but yeah, so that, that EQ, the EQ curve for the dirt transmitter and the king of tone are very similar. Okay. Um, and it's just taking the lows down a bit and then the mids up a bit and that's it. Um, so yeah. So walk us through what else you got on top here and then how you're using it with this mastermind. Yeah, so this is like my main, the Dirt Transmitter by Earthquaker is like my main fuzz. And the thing I love about it. Yeah, let's hear this thing. Is like, well, so I pair it with a tentacle, which is also under the board. Which is an octave up, right? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. But you gotta put it before. Um, and it sounds like total garbage by itself. Yeah. That tentacle. But if you put it in, in front of gain, out of control. Game changer. Yes, yeah, so it's like, It's like with it. Okay. And then without. Like it's still a great fuzz. Yeah. But but it's, I'm on the I neck pickup for like the sustain. So to get it to like poke out a little bit, it's like. You know. Yeah, I dig that. Um. So yeah. Now what's the uh, another octave or kind of octave-ish pedal is the pitchfork? How are you using that? So I'm using the pitchfork only for the low octave. Okay, down. And it's it's just the one. So there's like three options. It's like 
one octave down, two octaves down, three octaves down, which is nuts. So I just yeah. go, <laughs> it's like, anyway. Um, but like one, so I just go to one, and then I pair that with a fuzz. <laughs> Which is fitting because we're in the house of Jack White. You gotta, you know, you're yeah. representing that octave down in the fuzz. It's true. It's yeah. True. But then there's also that octave up. up from the top, from the beginning of that chain. So it's very like full. Yeah. That that's the song where Evan goes get a sandwich or something because you're covering <laughs> you're covering all the sonic ground. <laughs> yeah. What else is in the top of the board that we should see uh, top or hear? Top of the board. I think we saw a little mini pink guy. Is that like a delay or chorus? Yes, this is that little Ibanez analog delay that I love. You put that in a little, put in your pocket and get out of here. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Just going to the gig. Uh, but it's awesome. I mean, I used to have a DD500 that I loved, but I started to notice that I was only, I had three different delays set. It was like slap, medium, and then long uh -huh. programmed in there. And I noticed that I was only using the long delay. So I was like, why don't I just get like half of, you know, like just like, well, a third of that pedal, which is what this is for. But it's like, you can get some really cool sounds. Like, and the carbon copy does this, but the carbon copy is just way too fucking dark, man. It's like out of control with this guitar. So like, it's just mud, but mm. um, like. <laughs> It's like, okay, yeah, it's like you gotta catch it, like, in a cool way. And if, they, if that happens live, I'm like, oh. Yeah, as I say, like, yeah. so you, you like flying without a net in that regard where you'll get down and manipulate things. Yeah. Good or bad. Totally. <laughs> it's, yeah. Here we are. If it's bad, I'll be like, all right, fuck this, and just like keep playing. But if it's cool, I'll stay down there and just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, give Evan like a, and he's like. Checking this out? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun, but. Yeah, so there's that, and then the very first thing in my chain is the Cali 76, which I used to not like compression, but I love it now. Really? It, it's just like, it's... I remember you saying you didn't like it because you didn't like how it affected the amp and kind of squashed things. Totally. So this is a good squash. Well... A subtle squash. Yeah, it's like, it's super transparent. So you can't, like, you know, no disrespect to Keeley, but like the four knob one is not for me because I can hear it. Mm. Like, it's just... There's a color to it that I'm like, that is just like not my thing. But the Cali, it's, it, it's, it's more of a touch thing. Like I can't hear it at all in my tone, which is what I want, but I can, I can feel it, which is what I, that's the goal. That's for what me, you need. Compression, you know, and it makes everything just easier and like just butter. So I imagine that's an always on thing? Always on. Okay. And then flanking on the, the bottom here of the mastermind, you got uh, the Juliana chorus and yeah. the flint. How are you using these guys? Ooh, this chorus is my favorite chorus in the world because it doesn't sound like cheesy 80s. And there's Aww, so come many. On. <laughs> Look, I love the 80s, but, you know, we're in an era now where it's like, I can't, I know that I can't recreate the coolness of 80s. Yeah. So it's like. Fair enough. Every, pe every pedal besides this one that's a chorus, I'm just like, I can't. I can't get it to sound cool. So like this one is so sick though, cause like, especially with a fuzz, like I wanted some kind of modulation that would make it interesting, mm. but not lame. So like. <laughs> so it's like, there's that like wobble, but it's not like, you know, fucking like hair I mean, metal. <laughs> there's a time and place for that though <laughs> but you know i mean i do love some hair metal but like for me it's like i don't want to do that 
It's all right. <laughs> I know there's a in, there's an internal Shreddy Kruger inside you. It's It'll there. come out at some point. It, sometimes it do. <laughs> <laughs> Mel, you've been you've been introducing it and uh, putting it back in its place. But the Flint, how are you using that? Mm, that's my favorite, man, because it's got those three different. Um, yeah, for both sides, the reverb and the, the the trim has three different settings. The reverb's so killer, like. You can go 60 spring, you know. Like that's so rad. Yeah. Or, and I'm usually on the 70s one. Because it just sounds more like me. And then 80s. I was going to say, if you're going to the 80s. It's just a little too much for me. So the 70s is my thing. Like I'm always on the 70s. And then 65 photo, that thing chops like a motherfucker. Like check this out, it's fucking dope. Yeah, and it's max outside, and that, that goes to some Johnny Marr territory. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I love that pedal. I love the Flint. Big fan. And you have the mastermind. You kind of alluded to it. Was like a was it a steep learning curve, or what, what like had apprehension about it for you? Oh my God. Well, it's just so intimidating looking. I mean, I, I had this thing. Actually, it's on my. It's on Evan's board now. It's a flex reaction, and it has the analog dip switches, so you can like clearly see what you're doing. A little doing. more intuitive. It's, yeah, easy, like user friendly, and like it took me literally forever to, to learn how to use the Mastermind. So many tutorials online, but it was so worth it because I just I it's as a lead of a band. Like I've got to sing, I've got to be in tune, I've got to play lead guitar and rhythm guitar. I've got to captivate an audience and keep an audience. And like, I don't have time to like, you know? Yeah. Like, there's no space in my brain for it. So the way that I use it is I just kind of looked at all the songs I have and, and listed out like the thread of common tones and there's seven of them. And so every setting here, there's just seven different tones. Mm -hmm. um, and then a built-in tuner, which I love. But so I don't I don't change anything ever. It's just very like that's how it is, you know, just programmed that way. Um, I tried MIDI with it. I, it. The thing about MIDI for me is like it's cool, but it really limits me with with the on the fly stuff. Yeah. You know, because like if I program like, OK, well, here's a long delay. Boom. Yeah, I can step on it easy. But then I can't like experiment on mm. the fly. So um, the the flint and the delay are outside of the RJM. So the, those get the boot individually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 